The Disneyland Park opened in 1992 and has not seen a new attraction that's not a retheme or uses an already established attraction and replaces it, looking at you Buzz. Since the opening of Space Mountain in 1995, that was 28 years ago. So if Disney won't create a new attraction for their Parisian park, I thought why not let an AI do it? And that's exactly what I did. Hey everyone and welcome to the Main Street News. Before we begin, if you enjoyed the video make sure to consider subscribing and liking. And check our Twitter and Discord, links are in the description. 28 years is a long time. Since then so much has happened around the world, especially in the Disney World. Since then they open parks all around the globe, with California Adventure, Animal Kingdom, Blizzard Beach, Tokyo Disney Sea, Hong Kong Disneyland, Shanghai Disneyland, and the neighboring park Walt Disney Studios. But not one single ride in the Disneyland Park in Paris. Today, I will be using two AIs ChatGTP to create the story and attraction, and Midjourney to create the art I'll showcase during the video. So, let's get on with it. I wanted to create an attraction for each land of the park from Frontierland to Discoveryland. The main rule is that it needs to fit the theme. So let's start with the wildest land in the wilderness, Frontierland. I went to chat GPT and typed create a new ride for Frontierland in Disneyland Paris. He then started to tell me everything about the Wild West adventure. So let's dig into this concept. It's a dark ride with a tag, a thrilling journey through the Wild West. Guests board a train and embark on a journey through the Wild West, passing through canyons, deserts and frontier towns. Along the way they encounter animatronic characters such as cowboys, Native Americans and bandits, as well as realistic western landscapes and special effects. The ride is a mix of storytelling, animatronics and interactive elements, where guests can shoot targets with laser guns to gain points and avoid obstacles. Guests start off by boarding a train in a western town station, passing through a canyon and encountering a group of cowboys around a campfire. Then a train enters a dark mine where they must fend off bandits with the laser guns. Then it enters a ghost town where the guests encounter animatronic skeletons and other spooky elements. Finally the train reaches the destination, a western style fort with a final showdown between the bandits and the good guys. The AI then added that this is a rough idea and there is a lot of room to add details, make it more interactive and personalize it to fit Frontierland at Disneyland Paris. That sounded like an amazing ride and those concept arts look so good. Let's jump over to Adventureland now. For this one I specified that it should be a water ride and this is what he gave me. Pirate's Plunge a thrilling water ride that takes guests on a journey through a pirate-themed island, complete with waterfalls, animatronics and special effects. Guests board pirate ships and are taken on a journey through a jungle setting, complete with realistic foliage and animal animatronics. The ships then come across a series of waterfalls and other obstacles, splashing and soaking the guests as they navigate through the ride. The ride concludes with the final drop, where the ship splashed down into a large pool of water, providing a big finale for the guests. This attraction would appeal to guests of all ages and would add a new, exciting experience to Adventureland. The pirate theme would tie in well with the existing theming of the land, and the water elements would provide a cool, refreshing experience on hot days. A water ride would be an amazing addition to the park for those very hot summer days, and this fits perfectly in Adventureland as it's missing some rides. Let's keep on walking and enter Fantasyland, where we can find the next attraction, the Enchanted Rose Garden. This is a trackless dark ride that will take guests on a tour of the Enchanted Rose Garden, featuring some of the most beloved Disney princesses. 
Guests would board enchanted rose garden vehicles and embark on a journey through the garden, encountering various princesses such as Belle, Cinderella, Ariel and Rapunzel. As they passed through each section of the garden, guests would be immersed in the stories of these beloved princesses, with animatronics, special effects and 3D projections bringing the characters and settings to life. The highlight of the ride would be a grand ballroom scene featuring all the princesses, where guests would be able to see them dancing and singing together. Additionally, the ride could have an interactive queue line, where guests can learn about the stories and backgrounds of the princesses, and possibly meet some of them too before the ride. I am honestly loving all the concepts these two AIs are creating. Now let's jump to the one I was most excited for, Discoveryland. Journey Through Time takes guests on a journey throughout different time periods, from the ancient pyramid of Egypt to the distant future. Along the way, guests will experience various technological advancements and historical events, all while being guided by a time-traveling robot. The ride would use a combination of animatronics, special effects and state-of-the-art technology to create an immersive, multi-sensory experience. As they travel through time, guests would see, hear and even feel the sights and sounds of different eras, with each scene becoming more and more elaborate and lifelike. Guests would board time machine themed vehicles that move along a track through the various scenes of the ride. The vehicles would be designed to mimic the look and feel of a time machine, complete with flashing lights and other special effects to enhance the sense of movement through time. At the beginning, guests would embark on a time machine that would take them to the ancient Egypt era. Passing through the Great Pyramids, they would be able to see the pyramid under construction, with the giant blocks being placed by the workers passing by the pharaohs. Next, they would experience the medieval period, passing by castles and jousting knights. Guests would then experience a renaissance period with Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel and Leonardo da Vinci flying his flying machine. After that, they would continue their journey through the French Revolution, World War I, World War II and eventually reaching the present day, where they would see the highlights of the modern era and a glimpse of what the future might look like, such as the first colony on Mars and the first self-driving car. Finally, the ride would return back to the present, and guests would disembark, feeling as if they had truly traveled through time. I mean, how cool does that sound? I would say this is my favorite one out of all those. What's yours? Let me know down below so we can have a chat. I hope you enjoyed these amazing creations as much as I did, and I can't wait to create more stuff with these AIs. If you want to check them for yourselves, links are in the description. Now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap.